skills to shine bright like a data scientist. <laughs> Anyways, um... Hello, coding cuties. Welcome back and happy 2021. You're watching Damsel and Data, where we talk about data science and tech careers. Something I get asked all the time is to do a day in the life video, day in the life of a data scientist. So I attempted to do one, but I added some other stuff in to try to get to the root of the question that is being asked there. And I presume that that is, what is it like to be a data scientist? What kind of problems do we solve? What kind of things do we work on? What do we do at work? How do we spend our day? What kind of tools do we use? That is what I'm going to answer. I'll start with going through the three flavors of data science jobs, followed by a day in the life of a data scientist. And finally, I'll dive deeper into the most important tools and skills needed for the job. Also just wanted to quickly sneak in here and say, I'm so grateful for all 536 of you uh, subscribers at the time of this recording. If you're not already subscribed, please join the club. It will mean so much to me and it just takes a second. I get so excited every time I see a notification for a new comment or a new subscriber every single one I get that's what my heart does it goes so thank you so without further ado let's dive right in the first thing you need to know is that no two data scientist roles are exactly alike. Unlike the roles of lawyer or physician, for example, data scientist is a relatively new and buzzwordy job title and you don't need any standardized credentials to acquire it. As a result, there is a great degree of inconsistency between roles that have the title data scientist, and with that comes variability in the day-to-days of the folks that have that role. Also, there are tons of alternative job titles that have a data scientist job description actually sitting behind them. So just because you're not called a data scientist doesn't mean that you are not a data scientist. Your job title might be something like data analyst, machine learning engineer, data consultant, and you might actually be doing the job of a data scientist. So to assist you in your navigation, please enjoy my breakdown of the three flavors of data scientist roles. Based on my experience navigating the industry since landing my first data science role over four years ago, I've seen that pretty much any data science role can be classified as either research focused, business focused, or development focused. The research-focused data scientists are on a mission to transform the space they're working in, which usually translates into the development and or implementation of emerging machine learning techniques. Some natural habitats of these coding cuties are complex problem spaces, such as those in machine vision or natural language processing, and also problem spaces that have ginormous amounts of data like social media, for example. If you landed on this video organically, then you can probably thank a research-focused data scientist at YouTube for developing the recommendation algorithm to lead you to it. Sidebar, if anyone knows a data scientist working at YouTube, tell them to reach out to me and give me a little boost in the algorithm there, thanks. For a role like this, you typically need some research experience, which often comes from having a graduate degree in a field like math or computer science. The business-focused data scientist is the one implementing established scientific methods to help you make business decisions powered by data. This means understanding the business problem to solve and then knowing how to use data to solve it. It requires two things. First, knowledge of how to retrieve and clean and wrangle any data that you need. And then second, identifying the appropriate predictive modeling, statistical testing, or analytics approach to push the data through in order to solve the problem. You'll find this kind of data scientist in pretty much any industry, typically at larger companies who have a goal to optimize their resources or their revenue, and also have enough data and resources to hire data scientists in order to solve these kinds of problems. YouTube may hire a business-focused data scientist to measure and report on the effectiveness of YouTube's recommendation algorithm through looking at the feedback that you leave. Please like and subscribe. Give them some data to work with. For a role like this, you typically have a background in math, computer science, or business, and graduate school is helpful, but not required. 
Finally, a development-focused data scientist is one who scales data science processes or builds the data science-related components of applications. Whether it's putting machine learning models into production or building the infrastructure for working with big data, they are the enablers of leveraging data at scale. No shortage of buzzwords here. These coding cuties tend to be found more at tech companies, especially those with a data-centric product or a data science focused line of business. They're not only familiar with machine learning and its practical application, but they're also super computer science savvy. Okay, so now that you understand the three flavors of data science roles, you get the exclusive opportunity to ponder which kind of data scientist I am as I walk you through the day in the life of my experience as a data scientist. A typical day starts with reviewing my emails, my calendar for the day, and adding any new tasks to my constantly growing to-do list. Once I have an idea of what my day looks like and if I have any deadlines or meetings to prepare for, I organize my to-do list for the items that I'm going to do that day. On the to-do list, you can find a combination of technical and non-technical tasks, including any emails I need to send out to clarify asks for a use case, preparing for meetings or presentations, and of course, writing and reviewing code. Every day, I meet with my team for a morning standup, which is a ritual from the Agile development framework. During the standup, I let the team know what I worked on yesterday, what I'm working today, and any blockers I have, and I get to listen as the rest of the team does the same for their day. And this is a way for us all to get caught up and understand what's going on. So I typically have two to six meetings throughout the day. Sometimes they're very quick, but most of the time they're around half an hour. Meetings can be pretty chill. It could just be a team meeting where we're brainstorming solutions to problems or going through project progress or allocating resources to projects. Or they can be stakeholder meetings where I meet with the clients of my projects and gather information to complete the projects, clarify the project goals, or share any progress that I have. In case this bit about meetings didn't give it away, I am a business-focused data scientist, self-classified. I really love this type of role because you can feel the impact of your work, often in direct dollar value, and that's really rewarding to see. It's also a really stimulating combination of technical work, coding, um, as well as hands-on problem solving and working with people. I've worked on a ton of really cool projects, including using machine learning for robotic process automation to automate manual processes, as well as uh, using predictive modeling for customer behavior and hypothesis testing to make marketing decisions that are intelligent and profitable, and also building web applications to assist humans in their work. So doing things like automatically analyzing text using natural language processing. So in case this description has piqued your interest, I'm going to dive a bit deeper into the tools and top skills required for a role like mine. The skills that are most essential for a data science role are threefold. First, you've got your technical skills, so writing code for the most part. Second, you have project management and organization skills. And third, you have communication skills. Starting with technical skills. Knowing how to write good code and working your way through computer systems is an essential skill for any data scientist. This is how we do our work. This is how we deliver our output, the fruits of our labor. The specific tools themselves evolve over time and change from company to company, team to team, so they're really not as important. The most important thing is your general know-how and also your ability to learn and pick up new technical skills. That being said, there are two very specific tools that you need for pretty much any data science role. One is for the data, the other is for the science. Let's start with the one that's for the data. Data is often stored in databases. And to work with most databases, you use SQL or SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language. This is how you extract the data from the database. <laughs> this is how you extract the data from the databases for your use. If you can't get to the data, you most certainly will not be getting to the science, let me tell you. If you know nothing about SQL, don't worry. I've left a link in the description for my favorite SQL practice site. It's fairly straightforward to pick up on if you've worked with any other kind of programming languages before. But make sure you finish watching this video before you click that link in the description, okay? Thank you. Now, once you know how to get your hands on the data, 
you need to know how to work with it. So for the science component, you need to be able to write code to execute the solutions that you have for working with the data. And this is typically done through a scripting language like Python. In terms of top programming languages for data science, Python is definitely the superstar, but R is another very popular choice. So once you have these two very important tools nailed, you will pick up the rest of them as your job requires. They're not as much of a concern. But if you wanna get a head start, I've listed here the main tools that I've used in my data science experience across the four roles that I've had. All right, next, you need project management skills. Don't sweat it. These are definitely something that's developed on the job, but the main idea is that you need to stay organized. So if the idea of organization makes you want to vomit, then this is probably not the career for you. As a data scientist, your work is often experimental or has experimental components, which means there isn't a clear cut way to get to your solution or to get the job done. There isn't something that will work every single time. It's an iterative process of trying things, seeing if they work, going back, pivoting, and keeping track of your progress along the way so that you don't repeat things you've already tried or waste any time or make any mistakes. So you really need to be proficient in documenting your progress, the tasks you've completed, so that if needed, you can go back to a previous point in your pipeline and go from there. Documentation and organization is also essential for sharing your work with a team which pretty much every data scientist will work in. You can use any tools that work for you for project management. For myself to manage my own tasks, I just use Excel sheets and Google Docs for the most part. Um, but a lot of data scientists to work in a team will use something like Jira for team project management. Also, it's very important to document your code. Very, very important. And a lot of data scientists kind of slack on this, um, but you do this through comments in the code, doc strings and things like readme files. Finally, you need to be an effective communicator. Again, this is something that's mostly developed on the job through practice and experience, but if you're going into data science because you think it's minimal human interaction, then I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but you will need to know how to communicate with other humans. Communication skills are super important in the stage of the project where you're trying to gather all the information you need to understand the problem. So you need to be really good at asking questions and clarifying when you don't completely understand what's going on. You also need to know how to communicate your results verbally at presentations, um, through written documents and also visually because you know a picture says a thousand words and data scientists love visualizations because they are the glue that holds together their work and everyone else understanding and accepting their work. Well, my friends, that is all that I have for you today. Please leave me any feedback or questions you may have. Let me know if there's anything else you wanna see. And if you do get value out of this video or any of my other videos, please like, comment, and share the videos with the other coding cuties in your life. Have yourself a beautiful 2021 full of love and code. Thanks for watching, bye. Thank <laughs> you.